the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India, establish the Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development, IBSD, at Imphal, Manipur, in the year 2001. Main goal of our institute is to document the unique biodiversity and also promote them in all contexts for the socio-economic development through research by the competent scientists who are engaged in this institute. Also has three regional extension centers in Sikkim, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Research and development activities are pursuing under five verticals in IBSD. Firstly, phytopharmaceutical mission, ethnobotany, ethnopharmacology, and drug development. Secondly, microbial resources, fermented foods, and value addition. Third is the plant resources. Fourth is the animal resources. And lastly, eco restoration water quality management and biofuel resources. The phytopharmaceutical mission, which is one of the major initiatives which has been taken by IBSD, is highlighting on the development of this translational research component, specifically by the use of the natural products, medicinal plants, which are being used as a drug and also which are being used as a food. As you know, this northeastern region is having a huge biodiversity of medicinal plant and a huge varieties of food, specifically the fermented foods, which has a great impact to the health of the society. Microbial Resources Program The Institute is working on the exploration and bioprospecting of microorganisms from the different unique ecological niches of northeastern region of India for the production of industrially important enzymes, agricultural application and for therapeutic application. Another area is on the microorganism associated with different fermented foods of northeast India for medicinal and nutraceutical application and for the development of starter culture. Under Plant Resource Program, IBSD focus on collection, characterization, conservation of medicinal, aromatic and horticulture plant resources of Northeast region for sustainable development. Plant Tissue Culture Lab is carrying out in vitro propagation of various economically important plant species, animal resources division, edible insects, Protein-rich insects have been documented from northeast region of India for food and medicine. The Animal Resources Division have also successfully implemented cultivation and breeding of indigenous and endemic fish species of northeast India. We at IBSD have been working uh, on developing the uh, testing center specifically for the diagnosis of COVID-19 jointly with the Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences and IBSD together in Imphal and the northeastern regions have been uh, helping other states for to increase the number of COVID diagnostic facilities, the testing facilities specifically in Mizoram. We have been uh, helping with the manpower and with the RT-PCR machines in Meghalaya also. We have been supporting with the RT-PCR machines and all and our scientists have been engaged for helping the state government uh, on, on increasing the testing facilities and we all have been working in this particular context. We also working on screening and evaluations of the medicinal plants which are being used by these traditional peoples for years together, maybe as a food or as a medicine. IBSD also has a national bioresource park at Hararo in Imphal East which is spread over a total area of about 38 acres and has got 19 ponds of different sizes which are currently employed for aquaculture program and breeding of indigenous and endemic fish species of the Northeast. We are happy and privileged that the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Venkat Naidu, has visited IBSD to inaugurate the phytopharmaceutical laboratory of the Institute on 5th October 2021.
friends brothers and sisters i am extremely delighted to be here in impal at this prestigious institute bio resources and sustainable development ibsd i am told that this is the only institute under the department of biotechnology ministry of science and technology government of india located in the northeast region of the country here in manipur as we know the northeast is a unique in many ways in terms of cultural richness geographical grandeur and linguistic diversity importantly the northeast region also has the critical indo burma biodiversity hotspot with its rich variety of ecosystems using modern technological tools i am pleased to note that the department of biotechnology is promoting the phyto pharmaceutical mission of the northeastern region i am also happy to inaugurate the phyto pharmaceutical lab facility today ibsd's initiative to establish the phyto pharmaceutical mission to promote the documentation scientific validation and evaluation of traditional healthcare practices is an important step indeed dr jitendra singh honorable union minister of state for the ministry of science and technology government of india has graced a national seminar on developing bioeconomy from biodiversities of northeastern region of india on 18th october 2021 and distributed plant saplings to the farmers and northeastern region is the region which has the potential for everything and therefore i think this institute has the potential to develop as a bio resource hub for northeast and with the kind of better resources that northeast has compared to other regions of the country this could actually become the premier bio resource hub of india ibsd has established a science museum at chandel an aspirational district of manipur on 11th august 2021 which was inaugurated by Dr R K Ranjan Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs and Education IBSD in Sakok Indian SARS CoV-2 Consortium on Genomics was inaugurated by the Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur Sri N Biren Singh on 10th July 2021 IBSD has carried out various outreach programs on the bioresource utilization of northeast India and on traditional healthcare system. The Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development jointly with the Society for Ethnopharmacology Eastern Himalayan Local Chapter is organizing the International Bioresource Conclave and Ethnopharmacology Congress 2023 under the theme Reimagine Ethnopharmacology Globalization of Traditional Medicine during February 24 to 26 2023 So we cordially invite you to participate the event and avail the opportunity to interact with eminent resource persons from all over the world the details of the conference are available at iscsfc2023.in manipur is located at one of the richest mega biodiversity hotspot regions of the world 